Downtown Port Huron has an exciting new business that we want to encourage you to check out. Today on Blue Water Beat, we are going to be talking to Scott Beaton, the general manager of Sperry's Movie House. Did you expect for Sperry's to do this well with the little time you've been opened? Uh, we actually did. We, uh, we feel like we're a, an entertainment venue that the area uh, just doesn't uh, see every day and uh, we were hoping to climb the climb the hill fast and knock the competition off the block as fast as we could and we're excited to say that we did that in the first six months and uh, we ride number one in our marketplace for theaters and uh, moviegoers and then with the um, the added uh, gift shop and dinner house it gives uh, gives folks an opportunity to shop and uh, and see what Sperry's is all about besides just movies. What made you choose the spot that you are in and what inspired you to do this? Yeah, it's an interesting story of how um, Sperry's became the Sperry's Movie House. For our ownership group, we actually um, were proposing to put a, a hotel in this building. Uh, the building is 65,000 square feet. It has four stories. And uh, the owners uh, came in and made a press announcement that they were going to do that. And um, they just didn't feel the, the vibe was there. And uh, so we, we made a quick, quick right turn on the idea. and. Uh, our owners happened to own a theater seating company and uh, we thought this would be a great place to showcase the products that our owners, our parent company, uh, provide in seating and in dining experience with tables and, and soffits and countertops and different things that they manufacture on the west side of the state. So we're proud to say that the, the building has a, a Michigan connection with all of the stuff being manufactured here in, in, in Michigan along with the idea that this is really a showroom for our owners and um, they can, we bring folks in from all over the country, uh, Chick-fil-A to other theater operators that have been in here to see the type of furniture we use, manufacture and the experience that we give on the movie side with our reclining seats, our independent motors. We have two of those uh, motors in those chairs and uh, so your legs are independent from your back. You've got a tray which the competition doesn't have and uh, we're just excited that uh, we can bring that uh, to Port Huron. And uh, it's been a long journey. Um, a lot of folks really felt like Sperry's was um, kind of the face of Port Huron, whether it was good or bad. And there was a lot of, uh, there was a time period, there was a lot of bad in the building with some broken windows and, and some blight. And, and the community just kind of rallied around and said, hey, this is our building, we want to do something with it. And uh, uh, Chuck Reed, our owner, um, caught on to that vibe and that passion that our community had and said, listen, let's make this a, a movie house and let's put, put the, the building back on the map and the, in the city uh, as well on the map. So we certainly don't feel like we are the, the center of that wheel, but we certainly feel like we have a, several spokes to that wheel that we fill for the downtown. Uh, to think that we bring 2,500 people into the downtown every weekend that's 2,500 people that probably went to the North End or went down to Chesterfield maybe to catch a movie. Um, so we see that as a very, very viable opportunity for our downtown and our merchants and our restaurants um, to take advantage of that foot traffic that probably hasn't been here in a while. So when we look at the, the idea that on a monthly basis we're running 10, 15,000 people through our building, that's a great opportunity for the, for the downtown merchant, the restaurant owner, to take advantage and capture that. So we meet monthly with the Downtown Development Authority and we host uh, meetings here every month with the downtown merchants. We talk about promotions, uh, whether it's Happy Apple Days, which is this Friday, or if it's the Art Hop that's coming up next month. Um, we take great pride in the fact that we're the new sponsor of the Sperry's Santa Claus Parade, which the Sperry's family used to do. And uh, our owners felt like that is a very important part of our pride in our town and we wanted to make sure that we are the main sponsor to that. So we are doing different things to help each other um, because this, we, we see people coming back to downtown more now than, than ever since, since kind of the days of the mall. What made you think to put a restaurant into a movie theater? It's a cutting edge new thing that most people weren't doing in this region. So we figured dinner and a movie in one location. As a result, we're seeing a combination of multiple different things. You can actually come in to see a movie by itself. You can come in to have dinner and a movie together and have food delivered direct, directly to your seat. You can actually come into the dinner house alone through the exclusive stairwell we have on Grand River. 
How many people does a theater and restaurant employ, and what do you look for when hiring people? So on average, we employ about 100 employees here at Sperry's, give or take the season. Um, they range from back of a house with kitchen to front of the house as servers, bartenders, and we also have theater staff, which range from runners, ushers, floaters, POS users. So there's a lot of different options that we have here. Um, we look generally for people with people skills. Um, we always say a smile is a part of your uniform. So we look for people that want to come here, have a good time. Um, no one is really in a bad mood when they come to see a movie. So we're looking for people that want to step up, be proactive, and enjoy the public. What day of the week is your busiest? Has the Tuesday $5 deal been popular? As a service industry, obviously our weekends are super busy. Friday and Saturday nights, we have a huge push through, and also our Sunday mornings are a great family day, so we do see a lot of people coming through on Sundays as well. But overall, our Tuesdays, which are our $5 bargain day, are definitely going to either be our better, if not comparable, to our weekends. Um, we have great deals. Obviously, our tickets are all $5, but we also have some concessions deals for five dollars and some theater deals where you can actually get meals delivered to your to your seat around five dollars so those things include some chicken tenders and fries you can do a soda candy combo um, you also have mac and cheese and fries but a lot of different options that you can get for a really inexpensive cost so one of the main benefits of our building is that we are very eco-friendly we actually have um, solar panels that line our entire roof. They power everything from our theater chairs to our lights. Um, another cool fact is that when, when and if the sun ever drains from those solar panels, we have recycled Toyota batteries that actually operate our chairs. So if a hurricane ever rushes through here, um, you will be able to get out of your chair no problem. We actually also sell um, energy back to DT every month. So we're very eco-friendly. You're saving lots of trees coming here, so come visit us. If you are a movie buff or enjoy checking out new restaurants, we encourage you to stop into Sperry's and watch a movie or two. I'm Joshua Hootie for M6 Television.